Hey guys, it's Liddy here, and today I'm going to be reviewing Creality's flexible build plate for their resin 3D printers. So, let's get started. Alright guys, so Creality just came out with this new product. Now, I've seen this um, sold by um, some other companies, but Creality finally came out with their own. And again, this is the flexible build plate for um, their resin 3D printers, which I think is really awesome because this will uh, take away the struggle of scraping and um, tearing off prints off of the build plates when they get really stuck just like any other printer like my Creality CR10S Pro that I put the wham bam flexible build plate on it just makes life a lot easier and now that you can put it on a resin 3D printer it's just super awesome and again it's going to be super easy to handle your prints so it's as plain as that it just comes with a build plate and then a 3M magnet here and we put this on the build plate of the printer and then all you got to do is put this on top and then we have to re-level it to make sure everything um, is set correctly and then uh, that's it so let's go straight to the printer and let's install it alright so I'm gonna start by taking the lid off and then again just unscrewing the build plate and this is what we have so as you can see I've scraped it up a bunch which is again why it's going to be great to have this flexible build plate because then I won't have to do this and uh, ruin the build surface. Um, so let's clean it off with some rubbing alcohol or IPA, whatever you want to call it. Or you can clean it off with any other cleaning solution that you use. For example, denature alcohol works also. Just make sure everything is clean so that we have a clean surface to stick our magnet to so that it lasts long and doesn't peel up. So make sure it's all cleaned off. And now we should be ready to go. So again, all you gotta do is peel off. I'm gonna actually separate these for right now. All you have to do is peel this off. And this is 3M, so that means it is going to be very, very strong. Um, it's not going to wear off. So now I'm just going to fit it on to the build plate. I find it really easy to just lay it like this so that I can actually line it up really easily. And now that it is lined up uh, perfectly, I'm just going to push it down to get it stuck. And just like that, we have our magnet on here. I'll wipe it off. And then I'm going to put on our actual build plate. And what's really nice about this is it has these little tabs here so that you can um, pop it off really easily. So you don't have to dig your nail under this or anything. You can just grab it with these. And I believe um, it doesn't really matter which is the front, but I'm guessing you want the lines, as you can kind of see the lines on here, just to give it a little bit of grip, but I could be wrong. I'm just gonna go with that and then again, line it up. And just like that, you have a brand new build plate. So after you print, I will show you guys an example, but you just pop it off like this and then just like a normal 3D printer bed, you just bend it. So I'm gonna put it back on and then we have to re-level the printer. Okay, so as you can see, I took the vat out or off of the printer and I'm gonna use some IPA again just to clean off the base. So we have a clean surface. And this uh, flexible build plate can go on any printer. Um, I have my uh, Anticubic Photon over here and um, I could have put it on there, but because it is a Creality product and I use this Creality resin printer more than I use the Anticubic Photon, I'm going to put this on to the Creality one. But I probably will eventually get another flexible build plate because I already have a flexible build plate from my other printers and I know how great it is and a lifesaver it is, so probably just um, get another one. So I'm gonna put this back on. All right, so to re-level this bed, it's actually super simple. I didn't expect it to be this simple, um, but all you have to do is take um, one of these Allen wrenches in here that fits these four screws on the side um, of your bed uh, and loosen them and loosen them enough because they have 
Um, I'll show you here really quick. They have these little grooves, as you can see. So when you loosen them, you can shift it up and down. So what we'll do is we'll loosen them all the way and then home the build plate and it will automatically push the bed up because these will be so loose. And then once we have it flat, we can tighten them down and then it will be leveled. So I'm gonna do that for you guys here. And um, again, it's super simple to do and just loosen them all four of the screws. You wanna make sure they're all completely loose so that you don't run into any jamming when you try home it. Okay, so as you can see now, I can lift it up. I'm gonna loosen it just a little bit more so you can see. And now I'm going to actually home the printer. So go to tools, manual, and press home. And now you can see it's moving. So now it is homed and now I can tighten all four of these screws and it will be uh, completely leveled. Uh, make sure you get all these screws super tight so that nothing shifts while it's printing. So just like that, we're done and it is ready to print. So I'm gonna lift the build plate up. I'm gonna put the vat back in and then we can start printing. All right, so I'm gonna fill up the vat with some white um, Cyrotec Fast resin, which I have done a review on. And um, this stuff is pretty simple to use. It's a little discolored because I mix it with some old resin. So I'm gonna fill it up. And then I'm just gonna do a simple print that I would do when I would do a strength test, which would be a print that's flat on the build plate, which makes it extremely hard to remove, which will show how well this uh, build plate allows you to remove something off of it. So let's start the print and then I'll see you guys after that. All right, so the print is done. It was, took about two hours to print and now I'm just gonna take the bed off and we can check out what we got. So I have a piece of paper towel here ready to put the build plate on. So I'm just gonna unscrew it here. As you can see, we have uh, a print on here. So I'm just gonna show you how this thing works. So I'm gonna pop it off here and it came off really easily. Now I'm gonna twist it. And just like that, you have a flat piece that came off flawlessly off of this build plate. So that is just crazy how how easy that is to just remove it. Before you put it back on the magnet, all you gotta do is make sure that you clean both sides or clean one side. That is the part that goes on to the magnet and then you can place it back on to the magnet and then put your bed back onto your printer. So that is it. All right, so that is it. Simple as that. This flexible build plate is just amazing. And as you can see here, there is a nice and shiny surface. Now you would most likely never get this on a normal bed of your resin printer and the edges on this is actually are actually very clean and um, if I printed this on a normal bed without the flexible build plate and I tried to scrape it off I'd probably chip the edge or crack it um, so that is also a big plus you don't have to worry about breaking your edges or your corners of your prints so that is super awesome again Creality um, is selling this for $15 on their website which I will leave a link to down below in the description. Now, there are other um, build plates out there from Wham Bam, um, flexible build plates, but I believe theirs are way more expensive. And this is actually just a simple uh, build plate and is very cheap and probably um, gonna be way worth your money. As you can tell, it was super easy to use and install, and there wasn't much um, anything else you had to do with it. So again, I definitely recommend it. And again, the links to that will be down below in the description. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, please let me know down below in the comments. Um, I would love to hear from you and know what you think about this product. Again, thanks so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video.